Wee! Good morning. Home exercise routine number three. The core four. What is the core four? This is an idea that I've pulled from the Systema training. It's a push up, a squat, a leg raise, and a sit up. This is the four principal exercises that Systema uses for everything. It lays the foundation. On the surface, it's a good exercise. When you dig down a little bit more and you incorporate all the various breath work that's taught here as well, mm, these exercises become much, much more than that. But for right now, all we're really worried about is giving you something to do while you're bored. And then we can talk about the deeper stuff at another time. So let's do a quick demo of how we want to do these things. First, a push-up, right? Push-up, pretty simple. We all know, majority, how to get it done. So, if you want to do it on your palms of your hand, totally fine. So lying on your belly, palms of the hands down, just slightly outside of shoulder width, or on the fist. So make a fist, put the fingers down, hit up on the balls of the feet. I'm going to inhale. And on this particular instance, on the exhale, I'm going to push the earth away from me. And for now, I want to try to keep the body pretty together. There are times where we'll come up in more of a sagging motion, but that's a totally different story. So try to keep all of the stress that you are creating dissipated throughout the whole body. Now, along with the push-up while we're on the floor, we go over to our backs. And yesterday, it is in fact that we covered some of the leg lifting work. So we we'll follow up from yesterday from here. Now, you can if your midsection is strong enough to hold the, pel the pelvis in place, go ahead and keep the legs straight. If every time you try to lift your outstretched legs off the floor, your pelvis tips forward and you get a large arch underneath your low back, then start with the knees bent or drag the heels toward your butt and then lift, like so. So pull the knees towards you, dragging the heels toward your butt, and then continue pulling the knees toward the chest. And if you can get your pelvis to rock up, that's perfect. And then set it down, lower the heels, slide them back out. Perfectly acceptable way to do it. In time, you'll be able to take the legs all the way over your head. So, also while we're here on our back, we have the sit-up. Sit-ups are going to be done in many forms. The basic idea is at some point, you want to be able to be lying, legs outstretched, hands by your side, or resting on your hips, and just sit up from here. Kind of like Frankenstein. So we'll inhale, on the exhale we'll move, and then lay back down. Inhale down,
And lastly, we will cover the squat again. What we want to do is relax the hips, relax the knees, relax the ankles, and imagine there's a weight hanging here from the back of our tailbone. Open the mouth, let the air come out, and sink. Inhale. Exhale and sink. Now that we've covered the four basic movements, a challenge. I want you to put all four of them together in a sequence, a chain, if you will. One repetition of each movement followed by the next, the next, the next, the next, and then repeat. So it may look something like this. We start standing. We will squat down. Move into a push-up. Move. Go from the push-up to our back. Leg lift, sit up, back to the bottom position of the squat, and stand. <laughs> Let's run through it again. I'll just work on the breathing rather than talking. So, we'll start here. I'm going to start with an inhale, and I'll exhale on the way down, and then we'll continue natural breathing throughout. So this is your sample. This is the challenge. Blend all four of the movements together. Get used to doing them in a sequence like that. Put them in whatever sequence you want. Start on the floor. It's okay with me. What you could do, number them. Exercise one is a squat, two push-up, three leg raise, four sit-up. And then just rearrange them. Start, go two, three, four, one. Three, four, one, two. You know, four, one, two, three. Two, four, one, three. Three, one, four, two. I don't care. Play with it. It's yours. This is the great thing about when you learn these simple but challenging movements. Is you get to be the dictator of how you put them together. And if you focus on keeping good, deep breathing that is continuous. We've talked about this before. Continuous breathing, deep, or we'll say full, as much as you need for the movement, but not so much that it creates excessive tension and limits your body's ability to move. That's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoy it. Take the core four. Play with it. Breathe deep. Move well. Put more life in your joints. You have more life in your life. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.